everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog as you guys can tell by the title this is gonna be a bookstore vlog I feel like there have been so many good new releases lately so my list of books that I want to get just keeps on growing and I'm like I need to go to the bookstore and get some of these books before that list just gets a little too crazy so we're gonna go to like this little local bookstore and then Barnes & Noble so today's video is gonna be a bookstore vlog um, a book haul probably and a reading vlog because I really really want to read the majority of today I do have a rom-com that I really want to start today. It's actually this book right here Passion on Park Avenue. This is my third Lauren Lane book. Her books always put me in such a good mood Like they're just so cute and they're not too deep and they're not too cheesy. They're just perfect I'm already super excited. So let's get this day started. Let's get this video started If you guys aren't subscribed make sure to subscribe follow me on Instagram Goodreads I have my book club link down below Okay, I just arrived at our first bookstore of the day. Just made it to Barnes and Noble. The last bookstore was like a cute little quick trip. This one though, this is where we're gonna spend most of our time. So let's go. honestly feel like I deserve to never be allowed back into Barnes & Noble with the amount of books that I got and the amount of books that I have at home that I haven't read. I hadn't been to Barnes & Noble in a while though and I just got too excited because they just had so many good options this time. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a little book haul. At the first bookstore that I went to, it was literally the cutest thing ever. Such a cute little tiny bookstore. I picked up this book right here. It's called Severance by Ling Ma. I've heard it's really really good but honestly from the pink cover, I would have picked it up regardless. I feel like this book is gonna be really, really different to what I typically read, but I'm really excited to read it because I've really, for a while now, I've been wanting to like expand my genres of reading. I feel like this one's gonna be a really good one. And then the rest is what we picked up at Barnes & Noble. First book is this one right here. This is Fifth Avenue Glamour Girl. I'm pretty sure it was my last reading vlog where I read the book called Park Avenue Summer. That book was a five-star read. I adored that book, that story, the vibe of it, everything was so, so good. And this is the author that wrote that book, Renee Rosen. So this is gonna be a really good one I already know okay I had to move because the lighting was just atrocious over there so we got this one severance fifth avenue glamour girl I just had to pick this one up I don't know if this book is gonna be good or bad but I really wanted to read it and just like get my own opinion about it this is love theoretically by Allie Hazelwood I've read the other two books I really enjoyed love hypothesis and then love on the brain I was kind of like it wasn't the worst but it felt really really similar to the first one so with this book I'm just kind of going in blind I don't know if I'm gonna love it hate it hopefully I enjoy it but yeah, we picked up Love Theoretically. Then, okay, this one I'm really, really excited about. I picked up When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I also saw that they had the other book in there that I've been seeing everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's called Practice Makes Perfect. I almost got that one, but I'm gonna read this one first. It looks like it's gonna be the cutest, quickest little read. It's like the skinniest little book. Honestly, from time to time, I just want like a lighthearted, easy breezy read. I don't wanna think about it too much. I just wanna like disappear into the book into this little perfect world and I feel like this one's gonna be a good one. I'm honestly so excited about every single book, but this one might be the one I'm most excited about. I literally didn't even know this book was out. I'm so behind on like the book world. This is called Once More with Feeling. It's by Elisa Sussman and it's the same author that wrote Funny You Should Ask. I read Funny You Should Ask last summer and it was like one of my favorite summer reads. It was such a good book. I still think about it sometimes and I'm hoping that this book has the same feeling and I have the same reaction to it. It says a former pop star finds herself back in the spotlight along with an old flame in this friends to lovers meets enemies to lovers story from the best-selling author of Funny You Should Ask. That sounds so good. I am beyond excited to read this book. If you guys have read any of the books I'm mentioning, please comment down below what you thought about them. I always get so curious to see what you guys think of these books. So if you've read any, comment down below. Um, we're not done yet though. I still got three more books in here. Next book I got, 
is another one I haven't heard much about. This is called A Hundred Other Girls. The thing that I saw about this book that I was just like, I need to read this like right now is that I guess that it's incredibly similar to Devil Wears Prada, which is one of like my favorite movies ever. It says, how far would you go to keep the job a hundred other girls are ready to take? That literally sounds exactly like Devil Wears Prada. So I'm hoping that I love this book. Okay, next book I picked up is another little rom-com. This book is called From the Jump by Lacey Walden. Just look at the cover. How could I not judge it? when it looks that good. It's basically about Liv, that I guess she's like a chronic yes woman, like she always says yes to everything. She always puts others before herself. And it says she finally admits to what and who she really wants in this unforgettable and heartfelt romantic comedy. I just feel like it's gonna be like a quick little read, but it's gonna be a good time. And last book of the haul, is this one right here. I have been dying to get my hands on this book. This one is called The Idiot. With the amount of cute little rom-coms that I got, I just had to get at least two books that break up the little rom-com cycle. Just to give my reading a little bit of depth, I got these two books and I feel like they're gonna be so, 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 so good. I feel like these types of books change your life and then my rom-coms over here just make life more fun and reading more fun. But anyways, back to The Idiot. I honestly couldn't tell you exactly what this book is about other than I know it's gonna be really, really good. Also, the cashier, I Barnes & Noble was like raving about this book, saying how good it is. She was saying it's a really good book with depth and it's emotional and everything, but it's also incredibly funny. And that's all I needed to know. I was like, scan that book. I'm getting that book right now. Like I said, after reading as many rom-coms as I'm gonna be reading, I'm gonna need books like these in my life to remind myself that life isn't always a cute little rom-com. But yeah, these are all the books that I got today. I am set for the next two months, hopefully. I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a pick-me-up, so we're gonna go to a little coffee shop. Do some reading, get some coffee. Let's go. Okay guys, it's a lot later now, but I'm at the point of the night where I just wanna lay down, continue reading my book, and just try and see how far I can get. I was thinking of starting one of the new books that I got today, but I started this book, Passion on Park Avenue, and so far it's actually really, really good. It's keeping me entertained, and I was intrigued from like the first chapter. So this video just became a little bit of a reading vlog. Okay, I'm about a hundred pages into this book, Passion on Park Avenue, and I'm a little embarrassed at how much I'm enjoying this, considering there are some parts that are so incredibly cheesy, but it's honestly really, really entertaining. And there's like this huge enemies to lovers situation going on. Basically the gist of the story is that there's this girl named Naomi. She lives in New York City. She's like incredibly successful. She has her own company. She has a lot of money, but she didn't start out that way. When she was a little girl, her mom used to be a housemaid for like these really, really rich people in the Upper East Side and her mom's boss's son was the same age as her and he used to like bully her and just be super super mean to her as a little kid and now that she's older and she's like successful and has all this money she just moved into the same building that her mom used to work at and the little boy that used to bully her that's now also a lot older lives in the same building is actually her next door neighbor but he has no idea who she is he's trying to be like a super friendly pleasant neighbor and she literally can't stand him and he can't seem to figure out why the bickering the banter it's so good so far so i'm loving this book so far it's literally one in the morning i haven't taken off my makeup yet haven't put on my pjs i have this much left in the book i physically can't put this book down I'm obsessed. It's literally not even like a groundbreaking book. It's just such a cute read. And honestly, the anticipation of him finding out who she really is and like that they knew each other when they were younger, that's what's making me keep reading because he still doesn't know. I told myself that as soon as I got to like a not really interesting part, I was gonna go and take off my makeup and put on my PJs. I just haven't gotten to a not interesting part. I'm so invested. <laughs> Okay, it's almost two in the morning. I just finished Passion on Park Avenue. I adored this book. It was so good. It was so cute. 
it was just perfect this is my third lauren lane book and just like how i felt with the other two books as soon as i finish it i'm left wanting to read more of her books anyways i'm gonna go to sleep now because i'm actually so exhausted